All right, value impacts. Just got this one, the CC, and I think it's the most promising one I've gotten. Doesn't sound very powerful. That's because it has some sort of auto thing that like when a bolt's not coming out, then it kicks in. It's pretty cool, 21 volt. Let me go ahead, put it to the test and compare it to my Ryobi. This is the new model Ryobi. Don't knock it till you try it. It's the P262 with the high performance battery. You wanna pair those two together, it works great. Let's go ahead and uh, impact this lug on. We just did rear brakes on this guy. Pound it on there. That's as tight as she'll go. Torque wrench set to 250 foot pounds. Ooh, I don't want to snap a lug nut on a, or a lug stud on Derek's truck here. Let's bring it down. So the Ryobi usually goes to about 220 foot pounds if you hammer it on there. Of course, we're using a long socket, not a short. I feel like I don't want to tighten that lug nut anymore because I don't want to ruin anything. 220 foot pounds. Let's see if we're there yet. Oh yeah. So we're somewhere in between 220 and 250 foot pounds. I feel like I was just about to hit 250 foot pounds, but then I got scared. I know my Ryobi. If I was using the short socket, it'd be at about right around two, 230 foot pounds. We'll go ahead, put her in reverse. And we're using a long socket, not a shallow. You'll get more torque with your shallow socket. Took it off. See, it kind of starts off a little quieter and then it go goes into hammer time and really gives you more torque after it senses that it's not coming out or something. I have no idea how it works. I just turn wrenches, guys. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a scientist. I'm not really into rocket appliances or anything. So it will take off something that's over 200 foot pounds. It's uh, super cheap. Let's go ahead and use our torque stick to put it back on. All right, in the case over here, it comes with a bunch of extra goodies. Check it out. So you get not one, but two batteries. You get a charger that I already have plugged in. Uh, full lug nut socket set came with six sockets. Bits for screwing, bits for drilling. It looks like we got concrete and steel, extra O-rings and pins. And this is a pretty cool adapter it came with for putting your drill bits and uh, screw bits in there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Owner's manual. And by the way, this is a real solid looking case. Good case. Out of all the value impacts I've tried, I think I found the best one so far bang for your buck. You're not using impacts every day like me. You don't need to spend $500 on an impact. Go ahead and get you one of them. All for the price of one of these batteries. This performance battery right here will set you back about 150 bucks from Ryobi. All for that price, you can get everything here. And if you're not using it daily, why spend 500 bucks on something, you know? Yeah, best value impact I've tried so far. Let's see how well it does getting these bracket bolts off. Oh, like nothing. Bottom one. I heard this thing was good, but yeah. First time using it. Very nice. 